Hey, it's Merck. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can make your own custom GPT and use Zapier Actions with it. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, as you can see, I have one of my custom GPTs set up already. His name is Wingman Chad because he's my email wingman and he's a Chad. Pretty self-explanatory. So there's that. And I've already configured it. I've already gone through the GPT builder process describing it, what I wanted out of it, etc., etc. There are the instructions right there. We can take a look at these. As wingman, my primary role is to be a right-hand assistant, yada yada. And then down here, I will talk about the rules, the instructions, and the required actions in a little bit. But the first thing that you need to do is you need to connect Zapier Actions to your GPT. So how do you do that? Well, the first thing you need to do is when you go to your new GPT, which you can find, as you go to the Explore and you go to My GPTs, you can create a GPT and you go to the Configure tab, scroll all the way to the bottom, and you will see this tiny little button that says Add Actions. Now when you, you click that, you will see this other button called Import from URL. And what we will need to do is we will need to grab the URL that Zapier provides us to import their open API spec for calling their actions. And the way to do that is you can come over to actions.zapier.com slash docs slash platform slash GPT. And they have a full guide on how to set it up uh, over here. So we first need to get this link, this URL right here. Copy and paste that sucker right there. And import. And boom, that's it. Literally it. So... Once you have that set up, you still need to configure your Zapier actions. So how do we do that? Well, this article also explains how to do that as well. You follow this URL right here, HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash actions dot Zapier dot com slash GPT slash start. And it will take you to this page, which lists all of your GPT actions. And I've already set up a bunch because I was testing out different ones. I was just very curious. And for this video, I'm just going to be showing you how to connect your Gmail drafts, your finding emails, your sending emails, reply emails, etc., etc. So what we need to do here is you will need to create a new action, add new action, and I've already created that action. So you will need to find the action create draft. You just type in Gmail and it should pop up in the search. You need to then connect your Gmail account. So it's not already connected. It will say connect on the bottom here. For the subject and the two, you can leave these up to the AI if you want to have it for a multi-purpose kind of sending to anyone. And you can just provide them the Gmail that you're trying to send it to in the chat of the GPT. And then on the bottom, when you click show options, you will see this action name, create Gmail draft. And this is very important that you keep this action name the same as the action name in the instructions. And so let's talk about the instructions and the rules um, right now. So as you can see, there's a rules that say before running any actions, tell the user that they need to reply after the action completes to continue. And it gives the instructions to the GPT as well. And then it lists required actions. If you're asking where I found this, I found this format literally from the article as well. So it's very, very simple. You don't need to know a whole lot. You just need to know how to connect your Zapier and read an article. And so once you do that, you can see I have the required actions for all my Gmail actions that I want. And right here, the action name is create Gmail draft. And so it needs to be the same. It helps the language model understand which action is the best one to take. And then the confirmation link you will be able to find from the URL at the top of the action page. And you simply just copy and paste that sucker right there. And you do the same for the rest of the actions that you want. And that's pretty much it. That, that is pretty much it. I can't really think of anything else. So let's start with creating a Gmail draft to... I'll send it to my other Gmail account and I'll ask him if he wants to go to the gym or something. So can you create a Gmail draft to my 
I can save the Gmail and have to blur that out. Asking him if he'd like to go to the gym this Friday afternoon. Please sign me off as Merc. <clears throat> and now, once it does this, it's going to talk to actions.xavier.com, and then it's going to ask you if you want to allow this domain to send information back to your GPT, which you will then click allow, or else it will not continue. So we click allow. And now I'm going to check my Gmail drafts. And drag it over. So, so gym session this Friday. Hey there, would you be interested in going to the gym this Friday afternoon? Let me know what you think. Best regards, Merck. And I'm going to send that email. And I'm going to reply to it from my other email account. Hell yeah. Let's go at 5.30 p.m. Now I'm going to ask Custom GPT if my other email has replied to my inquiry that I sent. And now we're going to see if it knows that I replied with my other email. So now let's have it reply and say, awesome, I'll pick you up at 5. And as you can see, it says, great, I will pick you up at 5 p.m. Best Merc. So that is it, folks. I wanted to just kind of show you what is possible with Zapier Actions out of the box using custom GPTs. I strongly encourage anyone watching to try to make your own and to have your own little custom team of GPTs, whether it's your calendar agent or your wingman chad emailer. And Zapier also provides the Calendar Assistant GPT and Dossier GPT out of the box. They have live GPT demos. I will drop this URL in the description below so y'all can follow along with what I did here and try it out for yourself and also check out the demos that they used. I'm really excited to keep digging into this kind of stuff with y'all. I'm going to be jumping into some OpenAI Assistant exploration over the next week as well as talking about fun ideas that I think we could do with custom GPTs and how you should be thinking about using them. So that is it for this video. Drop a like, drop a comment, hate comments, love comments, questions, anything. I don't care. Just drop the comment and yeah, until next time there's no outro. So uh, goodbye. Oh, and subscribe.